Cheers, mates. How's life? Boys and their toys. Actually, a YouTube comment points me in this direction. Hey, could you please check out the SIP 200 cylinder? Hey, uh, I'm a little bit of what? SIP 200 cylinder? What's going on? Here it is. I ordered it straight away. It looks quite interesting as an option for just simple plug and play tuning for original lovers. Gusket. <gasps> and what you see here is no ports, no side ports. That's what we know from the original cylinder, which looks like this. It has closed original ports, small boost port, same small boost port here, rings. They say they are thinner, they are definitely thinner, that's what you can see here. Shall we just measure it straight away? Facts, not assumptions. Yes, 1.5, ah, it's upside down, oopsie down, as my 4.5 year old says. Piston pin, does look a little bit lighter, does it? 2.4, let's get an original one. I just wanted to say, ah, good that I have so much old stuff flying around. Yeah, I do, but actually, it's a bit unpractical. If it unaware. So I put the 200 pence somewhere else. 47.2. That sounds like original weight. When we're on it, just quickly measure the piston weight. Oh. God. 234.4 was wall decoration. Till I started comparing the pistons. Let's show you a minute. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. Ignition, huh? Two, three, nine. Uh -huh. Two, three, four. Interesting. Anyhow, it's a little bit like original Biagio versus the SIP 200. Shows that. This window is a little bit bigger, it goes here. Nice. Boost port is tiny, as usual. It's even a bit smaller than the original Piaggio. And here this beam is thinner, you see? Interesting. This, no, yeah, at least optics. Also on this side the window is a little bit bigger. Let's have a look at the bottom. Oh, by the way, cheers to Pinasco. Um, you're next with using state-of-the-art piston. Let's see which piston design they were choosing. That's a bit thin, but we have proper beams here. This one as well. That's very important. Also here we have cooling ribs. They look a little bit... Yup. Cooling ribs are smaller. Cooling ribs roof, below the roof are smaller. But it's kind of copy of the original one. Noise. Biggest impact is here, the piston pin, the conrod, the crankshaft is here. Just pushing and pulling massively. So. The force impact here has to be put evenly into the skirt in the whole piston. Means you need these four beams. It's not important how much hold you have. It's important that it is stable statically. Looks good. Roof design. Okay, this one is killed here, but... This geometry looks the same. I mean, this head does not fit the original piston, not really, but it works as we know, it's a track door, so if you can use this or not, bore is wide enough, you can use it. Closed cylinder bolt channels, okay, eh. yeah, but it has this edge, tiny boost port window, but this edge, oh, let me see, yeah, exactly, Rachel has it too, oh, this is fun. Let's compare the ports here, double size, because you only have one port here. That's what they say, they have two additional ports. It is true. 
Double transfer ports still closed. It does look reasonable. Open transfer ports, but still closed here. You can see that at the foot gasket. You see? That is not. Yeah, 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 it's the other way around. Doesn't matter. There are no ports here, but it is open, which does work, of course. And it will make a lot of original owners who are scared of adjusting their engine cases to maybe decide to go for the cylinder because it is still closed and you do not need to change something at the engine case so it means it's plug and play in the end that's something no one really knows I have to make another video guide for that it doesn't matter if you have open transfer ports at the cylinder and at the engine case, it still works. So in the end, every cylinder you have, the Polini, the... No, Pinasco, no. No, no, no. <laughs> the Malossi Sport, with the open wide transfer port, you just put it on the engine case and don't worry. It doesn't look so cool, especially if you like to flow engines like I do. Exhaust port, also original, very tiny. <laughs> it is a bit rough here, isn't it? Do you see that? So you need a sandpaper roll to round this edge, because this is, I'll take a picture, oh, this is bad. Oh my god. Wow! You know, these cylinders are, before they're coated inside, they are manually finished, and this finish is terrible. Wow! Even the VMC 177 cast looks better. Oh my god. No! <laughs> finish! Bad. Well, there's an edge, isn't there? Here, there's an edge. It's not really smooth. So I have someone who will be interested in this cylinder. I will fine finish it how it should be and just take another video to show you. Second guide, I'll get the port map and uh, I just get uh, 200cc for a P200E back with a rotary valve repaired and I can then actually measure the timings and we'll let you know. Cheers mates, I like it, I, I really like it. I'm gonna go on the dyno and see how it performs. Could actually be quite good power, better than O-tuning. Let's call it O-tuning version 2, shall we? Ha! Now, second try. Cheers guys, see you in a bit.